Hello, my name is Sebastian, and I'm a solution architect at AWS supporting startup in Singapore. So in this demo, I'll be showing you how you can move an application from Heroku using Postgres database to AWS Blasted Binstock and Amazon RDS for Postgres. The move will happen in two steps. Step one, we will copy the data from Heroku Postgres to Amazon RDS for Postgres. Step two, we will deploy the Node.js application onto Elastic Binstock, pointing to the newly created RDS instance. So here is an application that I have deployed on Heroku. The application is written in Node.js and uses a Heroku Postgres to store all the pricing information. Our objective for this video is to move this application over to Elastic Binstock, as well as to copy all data from Heroku database to Amazon RDS. To get started, we will first log into our AWS management console. We'll be using a cloud ID called Cloud9 for all of our development needs. On the search bar, type Cloud9. Select the first tab, and then click Create Environment. Begin by entering a name for the Cloud9 instance. Click Next Step. Leave everything as default and click Next Step. Verify the name and the settings and click Create Environment. The Cloud9 environment will take a few minutes to be created. On the Cloud9 IDE terminal, perform a git clone on the desired repository. Change your current directory to the newly created folder. We we'll start by installing all the prerequisites required for the migration. Namely, we will be installing the CLI to interact with Elastic Binstock, as well as PGSQL to interact with Postgres database. To install Elastic Binstock CLI, we will first clone the Elastic Binstock CLI Git repository. Then we will do a bundle install. Next, we will install the PG13. And lastly, we will install a utility called JQ to manipulate JSON. So next up, we will be provisioning an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL using the AWS CLI command. So we will first enter master password and this is the command that we will be issuing to create a RDS DB instance for PostgreSQL. Here, we will wait for the DB instance to be provisioned. So after five to 10 minutes, your AWS will be provisioned. What we will do is that we will execute another command to get the endpoint of our instance. So this is the endpoint of our RDS Postgres. And we'll export it as RDS Postgres URL to be used later on. So now we will copy the data from Heroku Postgres to RDS to begin we will retrieve the credential to access Heroku Postgres SQL. So open your Heroku console. In the apps that you want to migrate, under Settings, click Review Config Variables. Copy the value beside database URL. Now let's move back to our Cloud9 environment. We will dump the data from Heroku to a temporary file. 
first, let's copy and paste the credentials that we have done so in Heroku console. Here, we will be issuing a command pgdump to dump the data to a temporary file db.dmp. Here we can verify that the data has been successfully dumped. Next, we will copy the data into RDS. We will use the command pg restore. We will enter the password. So this shows that pg restore is completed. So we can validate the data is restored in our RDS by logging in and checking the result. We issue the command psql postgres and enter the password for the postgres user. Inside postgres, we could do a select statement. And here you can see the data has been restored. Now that we have finished step one, let's move to step two. Deploy the Node.js application on Elastic Beanstalk, pointing to the newly created RDS instance. So on the Cloud9 terminal, we will initialize a new Elastic Beanstalk application. We will select the default region to be in Singapore. And we will use the default name. So select Yes to indicate you are using Node.js. For this application, we will be using the version 12. Select no for code commit and no for SSH for your instance. Next, we will spin up an environment. So once the environment is created, we'll start deploying the application. And enable connection to our RTS instance, we will set up the correct environment variable for the application. To set up environment variable, we will issue a command eb set environment variable. This will take a while. So now that we have successfully deployed and set up the required environment variable, we can navigate to Elastic Beanstalk console. On the management console, type Elastic Beanstalk. Select the first tab. Under Environment, click on the newly created production environment. Here, you can see the URL that the application has been deployed to. Click on it. We have successfully deployed our application to Elastic Beanstalk. 